Yes, keep her foot elevated and bring her in. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Jillian Labor Personnel Center. Oh, to Jillian, out. thank you. Yes, come around. Can you handle preliminary interviews? I guess. I've never done it. Okay, it's easy. We do everything on the computer. You just call up the new patient file, and then you enter in the patient's name and address and date of birth, insurance information, medical history, allergies. Okay, but that's a lot. I don't know if I'm... It's ready. easy. Just go down the list, and here are the codes in case you can't remember. Okay? And answer the phone. Thank you. Okay, you can do this, Jillian. You can do this. Can you uh, take my name? I, I'm here to see a doctor. What did you do? Well, I was polishing it, and now I can't get my thumb out. Oh, you poor thing. Um, yeah, I'll take your information. Uh, well, here's uh, my, my insurance card. It's all there. Oh, you're so organized. This will help. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no. The computer crashed. Julian? Do now. Fine. Hey, what are you doing here? What happened to your hand? Oh, uh, I put out a fire. And... Oh, you poor thing. Come on, you have to get that checked out right away. Well, hey, hey, what about me? You have a bowling ball. My Ryan has a has a noble wound. Yeah, but, but I was here first. I'm sorry, but with me, Ryan always comes first, no matter what. Wait. Sure, but I think we're looking at surgery. Jake, Jake, you gotta help us. Ryan was in a fire and his hands all blistered. Could you wait outside, please? Just sure, for a moment. sure. I'm sorry to interrupt. Jake, please, can't you help us now? He's, he's hurting. Julia, as soon as I'm done with Mr. Coulter, I'll look at Ryan, okay? So what, does he just have to sit there and suffer? Okay, get an ice pack out of the refrigerator, put it on his hand gently. I'll see him as soon as I'm done here, all right? All right. All right. Can you hurry, please? <sighs> oh. Hi. Hey. Okay, Jake said this will help. Oh. I'm just gonna put that on there. Is uh, that terrible? Uh, well, maybe I should hold on to that. No, maybe you should save your strength. I'll hold it. Dr. Hayes will perform the appendectomy. He'll meet the patient in OR2 after he's been prepped. Okay. All right? Uh, Let's take a look at this hand. Oh. Ryan was putting out a fire that little uh, Max Santos said, and he didn't even think about protecting himself. He just went in and he started fighting the flames. It was no big deal, Jake. And Raquel was lying there in bed, helpless. Little Max, too terrified to even move, so he rushed in and he saved him. Julie, that's enough. Julie, okay. could you uh, go see how many patients are waiting to be seen? You don't need me here? No, no, I can take care of this. I just want to make sure that nobody wanders off, all right? Of course. Okay. You know how lucky you are? Why, the burn's not that serious? I was talking about Jillian. Let's just talk about the burn, okay? Can I help you? Yeah, who, who was that guy you were just talking to with the burn? He looks familiar. It's uh, Ryan Lavery, my husband. I knew it. I saw him in the intruder. He was accused of raping this woman. Then... My husband did not rape anybody. And don't you dare say that. That is a vicious lie. Oh, and you know what? Another thing? Stop wandering around here. If you're sick, you sit with the other sick people and you wait your turn. My father got trapped like this once, not not with a bowling ball, but in a saber. It was it was after an exhausting duel, and uh, his entire wrist got trapped in the in the grip. Your father fought duels with a sword. <laughs> yeah, he had a very bad temper. So anyway, Foodman suggested that we cover it with petroleum jelly. And you did what this foot guy suggested. Yep, and it slipped right out. All right, you ready? Okay, you you turn your thumb, okay. and I'm gonna pull. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Wait, it's out. Does it hurt? No. Am I gonna be charged for this procedure? I don't see why. I'm not a doctor. Excuse me. Oh. Ah. Thanks. Anytime. Sounds like Hayward caused you and Jillian a lot of grief. Jillian told you about that? She was she was hurting pretty bad. She needed somebody to talk to, so it wasn't my finest hour. But Ryan Hayward, he's a slime ball, you know that. He he set her up. 
If, if he's any part of a reason why you two are getting divorced, I, I would rethink things. Look, Jake, you really don't need to tell me what kind of a slimeball Hayward is, but I don't appreciate you and Jillian talking about no, what happened. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help. Well, we're beyond help. We signed the divorce papers, it's over. If there was some miscommunication because... There wasn't. That's all I'm saying. Stay out of it, Jake. I mean it. Are you all right, Ryan? I'm fine. It wasn't serious. I'll see you around. Thank you. He just had to run. Uh, I have to talk to you about something. What? There was a man standing right outside of the cubicle the whole time you were treating Ryan, and he wasn't sick. He was he was listening to you talk. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin. Can I help you? Thanks, but I don't need a doctor. Uh, and then what are you doing in the ER? Well, I had these uh, sharp pains in my stomach. You know, my heart was racing. Really? Go on. And I was by myself, <clears throat> and I couldn't reach my GP, so I thought, you know, I decided to come here and be on the safe side. Well, that's a good idea. Have you had anything spicy to eat recently? Uh, I had some Cajun catfish for lunch. Would that, uh... Yeah, I might do some. But where was the pain? Uh, it was just kind of all over this area here. Uh -huh. And it's gone now? Yeah, actually, I feel okay now. Really? Well, I would feel much better if we oh. checked this. <laughs> you see that? That's my doctor. He got back to me. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm covered, but thanks. Sure. Thanks. Anytime. So what did he say? Nothing. But I don't think he's here for his health. <laughs> 